Alright, I am going to be doing a tutorial over the rotoscoping technique that I posted on my YouTube channel. It is probably the most flawless of any that I've ever heard of, because normally with rotoscoping you have to go over it frame by frame. First you just want to want to upload the footage of the... you want to have the Ultimate Effects lightsaber from Walmart, the ones that glow, or a Master Replica lightsaber, or a sword that has a glowing to it. And um, what that does is that the glowing core, you can isolate the color by using the uh, threshold effect and make it make the core glow white. And that way, you can copy and paste that and make another layer that's colored and blur it out, and make the blurring effect and whatnot. So now that you have your clip isolated from the timeline. Now you want to click on the clip, the clip that you want to put the effect on. Go into the effects, basics, and go down to threshold. And have threshold ready. You just want to copy and paste this clip first. And then once you copy and paste it, you have to drag it on top of the original clip. That way you can do what you need and then go ahead and do it again for the one of them is going to be the color and one of them is going to be the core I usually make this one the core and the top one the color so let's do the core first so you see what you have your lightsaber here so what you want to do is go into the threshold effect and drag and drop the threshold effect onto the uh, one you're going to have for the core well I guess we have to do this one first yeah, do the core first because it doesn't show up yet. See, it's already rotoscoped. I just gotta adjust the levels. I usually boost everything up, even the smoothness. That way you get a nice, nice and smooth. And what you want to do is add a color mask. I think, yeah, a color mask and select the rest of the coloring for, that's from the lightsaber. Yeah, it's good. And then go into the color edit, the color correction and boost the exposure and boost the highlights all the way up. In fact, let's, no, just boost the highlights. Okay, you're done with your, uh, you're done with the core. Now, it is time to copy and paste that once you have the core whitened out. and then paste it on top okay there pitching the fit for some reason okay this one's gonna be your core and the top one's gonna be the color now simply all you gotta do is go into colorize Drag the colorize into the top one. And go back over to the inspector and go to remap white and select green. And go back select green. Okay. Go to remap black and make sure it's total black so the uh, blacks will not the blacks will be black once you key the effect over the video. Okay, that's that, and um, just color correct it until you get the desired color strength you want. I usually just saturate it to the max. If it even lets me. Not let me. Try the outside mask, maybe. Maybe. Yep. I think it's working. Yeah, it's working. Okay. Max saturation. Now. Next on the list is you want to blur it. And then when you're done blurring it, you got to do the blend mode. So get on a blur. I usually put it on Gaussian. 
and adjust your next you go to blend mode which is on the very bottom I believe it even free let me scroll and go down and click on normal and go down to screen or add whichever one you want I don't remember which one I normally use doesn't really matter I'll use screen no not lightning screen okay mm. Click the top clip that you put on top for the color, and then shift click the clip below it, that's the white, and then right click it and do a new compound clip, that will merge two clips together. And that way we can blur it a little more if we want, and um, make it look a little cooler. So it looks cool right now, it just doesn't look quite perfect, because the core has a little bit of pixelation. Let's give it a little bit of a Gaussian, just a little bit, that's way too much. Just a little bit, just to soften it up. There. Now we can color correct it and make it pop. After you get the desired effect, you may click on the clip, make sure the clip is highlighted, go back to the inspector if it would let me. Go all the way down to the bottom and hit the blend mode again and go to screen. And voila, your saber. Of course, it does um, take any object that's bright and it gives it a lightsaber effect. I'll show you. It should be right down here. If it, oh, it's. Yeah, see, the hilt was a little bit bright too. You can adjust the threshold if you want to deselect that. It gives it a greenish glow, but I think it's no big deal. Anyway, that's how you make a lightsaber effect. It's, I think it, it personally, it's a lot easier than having to go through it frame by frame. It basically, this one, it, this way, it basically just rotoscopes itself, and you can make it however you want. And if you keep the uh, blade effect separate from the actual footage below, you can color correct the footage below, and the blade won't change. There you have it. That is how I make my new lightsaber effect. I just discovered how to do this today, and it is quite awesome. I do say so myself. So. If anybody wants any more tutorials on how to do any of the effects that I've been doing, just uh, send me a an email or a comment or whatever and let me know. I'd be glad to, so have a good day.